This is a polarizer, an optical filter that lets only a certain light pass through it. Do you see the yellow and blue portion? Well, I designed them by myself, so it is intuitive in which orientation must be the electric and magnetic field to pass the filter. If the filter is orientated in the same direction of the wave, nothing special happens because all the radiation can pass it. Instead, if the filter is rotated by 90 degrees, no radiation comes out from it. For all the angles in between, a portion of the original wave can travel through the polarizer. The new amplitude is equal to the old one projected in the new direction. If you understand that, try to answer this question. What happens if I place a polarizer at 0 degrees followed by another at 90 degrees? Let's find out. The wave easily passes the force filter because it is orientated in the same direction of the electric field. But when the ray reaches the second filter, it is completely blocked because the blue component doesn't match with the yellow one and vice versa. Now, what will happen if I place a third polarizer in between, orientated at 45 degrees? Let's discover it. The wave passes the force filter as before, with no problem. At the second filter, the amplitude must be rescaled by the cosine of 45 degrees, so by square root of 2 divided by 2. And this is exactly what happened. The initial amplitude is 40, and the amplitude in this section is 28.28, so 40 multiplied by the square root of 2 divided by 2. Then, you can expect that no light comes out from the last filter, as before. But this is not what is happening. Some radiation is effectively exiting the polarizer. But how this is possible? With two filters, we block out all the electromagnetic radiation. But with a new filter, some radiation can pass. This is no sense. It's like having two walls able to block all the enemy's army. Then you decide to create a third wall and thanks to that some enemies can pass your defense. Unfortunately, this is exactly what happens in nature. Here I find a photo with two polarizers, orientated 90 degrees apart, and you can see that no light can come out from them. But with a third polarizer, orientated as in my setup, it is possible to see some light exiting. This happened because the polarizer does not only filter the light, but it changes it. It changes its orientation. This happens all the time in physics. If you try to measure something, you change it. For the more code lovers, to create this effect, I use the same absorbing boundary condition implemented in the first episode before each filter, and then I simply take the projection of the wave with this nice formula. I must admit, nature always surpasses my imagination.